Hello everyone, welcome back to more Xenoblade... Uh, Xenoblade? What the fuck, Bradley? Fucking Fire Emblem! I, I don't know why I said Xenoblade. Don't ask me why. I have no clue. So, I guess the name of the episode is Xenoblade, because we're going to be doing Xenoblade, I guess. No, this is uh, Fire Emblem, and while I'm here, this is what the title screen looks like. I couldn't show you before, because after you beat the game, uh, something happens. It's a different one. But this is what it looks like. So I'm going to continue the game. I'm going to cut away so you don't see the final names. And we're back. Okay. Um, That was only like two seconds for you guys. So this is the calendar. His birthday is there. Hubert's. Interesting. Did we even get flowers to Hubert? I don't know. Alright, so this is, so we're going to be doing the mock battle today. These are the episodes you guys are going to be wanting to see because these are the fun missions. I've also turned up the game volume a little bit because the last four episodes I just looked at them and they, you could barely hear it. That and Dog Boy was talking over everybody. So today I'm actually alone. We're going to do this mission, which is actually a really fun mission. So, I'm really excited. Rivalry of the Houses, Chapter 1. Time for a mock battle, eh? Hmm. How should we go about this? Well, you'll be our commander, that much is for sure. Just don't screw it up and everything will be great. Got it, Teach? I'm not concerned. Right. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. I mean, I'm kind of obligated to. For example, if I add a little something to their food to upset their stomachs... Don't even think about it. Yeah, yeah, wink, wink, I read you. You can't officially condone that sort of thing, right? You know what the funny Let's thing is, is, uh... Hypothetically speaking, students from the other houses started racing to the infirmary. The funny thing is, Gandhi would actually agree to all this. But... That's just Gandhi the hero. As far as anyone knows, it could just be a harmless little stomach bug making the rounds. Well, well, what a fascinating conversation you two are having. May we join? Claude, I can't believe you would stoop to such crooked schemes to gain the advantage. Have you no honor? <laughs> if that was really my scheme, I wouldn't be talking about it out in the open. I'm afraid you'll have to wait until our battle to see what's really in store. It's irrelevant anyhow. Whatever you have planned won't save you from a crushing defeat. She has a point. Still, I'm rather eager to see what sort of schemes that mind of yours conjures up. You heard him, Teach. We can't let these fine folks down. It'll be a fair fight. <laughs> of course. A fair fight, as all fights are. Good one, Teach. Play innocent now so they won't see it coming. Oh, how precious. Looks oh, like you and big the students have again. become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. I'm sorry, professors. It's about time I return to my training anyway. Claude, Edelgard, until we meet again on the battlefield, farewell. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. All right, so this is our first mock battle. Do we get to play with everybody? Doesn't look like it. Magic, um, I'll... Attack. Um, we, you do have a good magic user on this, uh, on the Golden Deer. I'll show you which one it is in a second. And this is battle preparations. I'll go over this now. So, this is what the battle preparation screen looks like. Before you go out in the battle, you always want to make sure everything's ready. Then you can hit fight and you're like, alright, I'm ready. Um, most of the time, I will be skipping most of this. Or, I'll be talking about, like, alright, so this is what I did before the fight. Because I usually save right before then. 
And I've been cutting out the save thing because I've been trying to keep spoilers away from everybody. So, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you this this one time. And then most of the time, unless it's absolutely needed, I'll be cutting out like what I do for the preparations just to save a lot of time. Alright, so first... What can we go over first? Alright, so first are your units. So it looks like we can only use five people in this battle. That's not bad. Um, so the, these are your teammates. These are your... Pretty much it's like a starter pack almost when you pick a team. Um, or pick a house. Like the other students, that's what you would have at your disposal. But these are my favorite characters to use. So I'm going to use these guys at my disposal. <coughs> Who do I want at my disposal right now? Leone, I can work with later. She, all right, so I'll, I'll explain who I use most of the time right now. There are other characters we will be getting later on, but we're not doing that just yet. But this is our starter pack, so let's see what we have. My character, or Gandhi in this case, um, y you always have Gandhi. You always have this character. Um, I always use Claude. Claude is never out of my um, ranks. Lorenz is a great character. He uses a lance, um, but later on he learns some magic. And um, I'll show you what we do with him later on, but he does really good in battle. Marianne, I'm not really too fond of. I'm actually going to take her off because I'm really not fond of her, but eventually we'll learn how to... Um... Actually, it might be good for her just to have her in this one battle. I might just keep it like this, actually. Let me think for a second. Actually, wait a minute. No, it won't be good to have her for now. There's a, a ability that she gets later on that we'll talk about later. Um, Hilda is good with an axe. She becomes something better later on. A lot of these characters I do better with later on, except Raphael. I do pretty good with him right now. So um, with that in mind, I might actually pick him because I'm not... Towards the end of the game, I actually don't use him a lot. So we'll use him now. Um... But down here are my favorites to use on this team, with, with the exception of Claude and Lorenz. Ignatz is a great, great um, archer. He can, um, he's almost like identical to Claude, but not exactly. Um, I use him for something different, but I'll get into that later. Lysithia is a great magic user. She's going to be the one that you use for the magic all the time. And Leone. She, she becomes really good with a lance, and she also becomes good with a bow. So pretty much, you have three archers on this team right off the bat. Right off the bat. It's amazing. And I, I prefer the archers in this game, because I, I like doing it from long distances. For reasons later on to be explained. A lot of this will be explained more later on, but for this team... You know what? Screw it. Um, I think... Oh my god, man. Miaz Miasma is really weak right now. <coughs> Just want to see something real quick. Oh my god, it's actually pretty weak. Um, it actually does get better in, later in the game. So, for this fight, I'll put Lysithia in. Actually, uh... I'm kind of wondering who do I want to put in. See, this is why I'll be cutting it, because I'm not sure who I'm going to put in right now. Yeah, fuck it. We'll put Lysithia in and then see what happens. And next thing I'm going to show... We're not going to show inventory right now. Um, next thing I'll show is the map. This is very important. I always use this map first before anything, so I can see what my plan is. And see what I'm actually going to go up, up against. So right here, it looks like... Um, <laughs> Looks like these guys are manning down the fort for Black Eagles um, over this side. Well, the um, Blue Lions are over here. So you pretty much want to split them up. So, And I think I think the objective is to kill <coughs> Hanuman and Manuela. So 
That's going to be our key, but we... You want to kill everybody to get the most experience. <coughs> but later on, it doesn't matter. But right now, it does. You want to get as much um, experience. Support. Um, we'll talk about more of this later, but um, there's things I've mentioned called support conversations um, that build up chemistry. See, you can see all this. You have, like, ranks that you can build everybody up to. Um, you... you Support conversations will build those up, and there's other characters that can build them up. Um, many different characters you can build up uh, <coughs> chemistry with. So, we'll be doing that um, later on. It's actually a vital part of the game, and you'll be seeing a lot of support conversations. Um, inventory just shows you what the items are, not important at the moment. Save, you save before the game. Marketplace is something we'll go over when it shows up. <coughs> we haven't unlocked it yet. System is options, and if you're a coward and a fucking pussy, you hit the quit button. But I'm gonna save and I'll be right back. Right. Now for the map, how am I gonna order this? Alright, we'll put Lorenz and Claude together. And we'll put Hilda and my character together. Actually, no, Lysithia, because I... Lysithia does good with a sword, and that I that will be explained later, but I'll put Lysithia with me, and Hilda can just be in the middle. So I'll have me and Lysithia go after Black Eagles, while... Actually, do we even have an archer? No, just a couple magic users. Alright, so while Claude goes over there to deal with that archer, and Lance goes to follow him. Um... <coughs> These blue spaces are as far as they can move. The red spaces are as far as they can hit. That means if you move Hilda over to this space, she can attack in these areas. Um, Claude can attack a little farther because he's an archer. Same with Lysithia as a magic user. I think we're good. All right, let's fight. Route the enemy. So that means to defeat so, the entire enemy. This is enemy. the stage for the mock battle. The command is <coughs> all yours, Teach. All right, I'm here sure we go. You already so. understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. All right, so listen well if you want to win. Stay so focused. I guess we can do that. All right, so another thing we should learn is um, this red arrow. That means if I move here, he's most likely going to attack me. It does not always mean this, but it's like a 90% chance that he will, unless like. Say Hubert can come over to get me and him. He can attack me, but then Hubert wouldn't be able to, so he just moved behind. Um, they would play a little game of strategy as well. This is on normal, so it should be shouldn't be too hard. Um, okay, I don't want to go that way. We'll go over here with my character. We'll we'll risk that. Leave and it to me. <clears throat> I'll put Lysithia over here just to be behind him. That way, if Hubert comes over, we can attack. All right. Ready and willing. Let's put um, Claude in the bushes. I stand ready. Uh, let's put Lorenz there. Um, one thing you'll learn with me and Lorenz, um, I tend to put Lorenz in a defensive position a lot. That's just how I play. Fight on the front lines. I can stop the enemy's <coughs> advance with grace. Do you have Lady Edelgard's permission to... <laughs> I suppose I've no choice but to provide cover. Thank you, Hubert. <sighs> we are off to a terrible... Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, Your Highness. Leave it. Once you've finished preparing, make your move. Did you, Mercedes? Keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. Oh, my... We'll try our best. <clears throat> All right, so now he's gonna attack us, and we did some damage. But you can also attack back. That's why I put my character in the front most of the time because he can attack back. <clears throat> There's are chances that you can miss um, the enemy's attacks. That becomes more evident later. All right. You're like half dead, so I'm actually gonna move you over here. <clears throat> I 
When the fuck did I get an iron axe? Alright, so better strategy. I'm actually gonna... Okay, we're just gonna kill you. The Scythia, good. Alright, and then we'll attack up my character. And see that red line going after Lysithia? That is one thing I'm not good with Lysithia, is uh, taking hits for her. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to surround him over here. Um, actually, can I use a combo attack? Nah, that would be stupid. Actually, we have plenty of... Uh, Yeah, it's not gonna matter. Alright, fuck it, we'll just hit him with an axe. And he's an archer, so it makes it a little much, a little bit easier. So we'll attack you with an Oh, you fuck. Can I actually... Okay, that'll kill him. I, I, I should show how I'm actually reading this. You can't compete with me. <laughs> Alright, so... I guess I'll use combo art for this one, but, um, how you can read it is right on the left, it tells you, like, the most predictable outcome, what will happen, so, it tells you, the MT is, like, the attack power that the item actually has, so, we could get, like, I mean, eventually we'll have something like a steel bow, and it'll do maybe, um, it'll maybe do 22 damage, it'll do more than what it, the other one used to. <clears throat> so, this becomes a game of, like, how much damage can you actually do? And is it a smart move? Seeing how I'm far away, this is actually a pretty smart move. So, we'll just hit Hubert with an arrow. <clears throat> and end our turn. And that's that's a pretty decent turn. Hmm. You are performing as expected, Professor. We will have to face you with our full might. Wait, you weren't doing that already? We will use the forest to ambush our enemies. Everyone, I am counting on your support. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so he attacked Hilda. If they're waiting in the forest. We do well to take a detour. And that detour, we're actually going to go over the, to these guys first. <coughs> because these are rocks, we can't really do much. So what can we do? What am I gonna do actually? I'm not sure what I'm doing. Here. Let's uh Let's have Hilda kill you because I'm gonna get I'm gonna die if I don't do anything. Now see I was one. <coughs> ah. Something back in my throat. You can um if you can attack first, you won't take any damage. For example. You lost to me? <clears throat> and there. Hilda killed him. Alright, so we'll move everybody up. I think that's a smart move. You have to make sure all your um, moves count, because you can't really turn back the clocks. Are you planning on fighting two houses at once? I will admit that is favorable for us. This is a good opportunity for us. Let's forge ahead. <clears throat> yeah, I do plan on fighting two houses at once. Alright, now how am I going to do this? you up here and I'll use a potion. Usually you don't want to use potions in the game. You, 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 it's always useful to have one just in case, but you don't need to use potions in the game. <clears throat> I think I can kill Mercedes. No, I can't. So 
What's my best course of action? Oh good, you're gonna actually attack Hilda, so I'll use that. For to do, for to do, I want Lysithia. because to do is actually like good at heavy armor. Um, yeah, I guess I can use another F two on me for some reason. Uh, I'll hide Claude in the forest, and I'll. Okay, that's actually good. Everybody's going to go after a different opponent, so I'll just put Lorenz there. <clears throat> that way, not everybody dies. You're a tough opponent. Okay, and now we're level three. I'm not... Oh, you were supposed to go after Lorenz. I don't know why I didn't. Oh well. Alright, so. Lysithia, I want you to attack. Yeah, go ahead and attack. Yeah, attack me. Oh, are you shitting me? I could use a break. Okay, we're gonna have to protect Hilda, because she's almost dead. <clears throat> oh, he didn't even he didn't even do anything. Can I use another combo attack to kill him? Yes I can. You're outclassed. All right, so. Your princeliness. You got a thing for Edelgard, right? Come on, fess up. You'll feel better. Claude, please. This is no time for idle banter. Your defenses are wide open. And that didn't get to him, huh? What a shame. I'll find a better way to run. All right, shoot him. <laughs> Dimitri versus Claude. I have a feeling we're gonna see a lot of that, actually. Be mindful. All right, let's attack you. And Dimitri's down. My train <clears throat> All right. Dimitri is down, and you're gonna go after Lysithia for some reason. Lysithia can actually counterattack from far away. That's why I actually put her in. Hit you with the lance. Um, also, you saw those hearts? Those are people you have chemistry with. Just FYI, everybody in your house gets chemistry with each other, so you don't have to worry about that. But when you. There's a way you can get other characters. Like, I could probably get Mercedes, just, just for example, because she's right there. And she has, like, um, chemistry with. Say, I, I know she has chemistry with Lorenz, so we'll use Lorenz. So, <clears throat> that's another thing of how you can pick your team, but we'll go over that when you actually can. Alright, I'll put Hilda over here. Yeah! Oh, no. Alright, so we killed Mercedes. Well, okay, we're not actually killing him. Don't expect... This, this match are not killing anyone. <clears throat> Alright. Edelgard is actually going to come over here to attack Lorenz. So I'm going to wait here with everybody. Heal myself up. Actually, another thing I should mention. I'll, I'll put... Um, 
her over here. I probably should have put Hilda here, but um, we're gonna put everyone over here. Um, you can actually use convoy, and what convoy is is when you're next to the um, your created character, um, this will get this list will get bigger as we go. But um, you can actually pick up items from like the convoy and put them in your inventory. So if you're low on potions or whatever, you can go pick another one up. I don't use this feature often at all. Oh, she has a hand axe already? Alright, so... Look at that, a real-life princess. I'll have to be careful, Claude. I'll win no matter what, but you're only- Losing hasn't even crossed your mind, has it? Ooh, this will be a bit of a shock, then. To shock was your intention to begin with, was it not? <clears throat> All right. Now she's gonna throw an axe. Oh, nice, Claude. All right. Yeah, if you actually attack people with certain characters, they have like funny speeches. So I'm pretty sure if I attack Edelgard with the uh, Gandhi right now, I'm pretty sure we'll get like a funny conversation. There can be no victory unless I defeat you. So be it. And now we're at level four. We must all forced to retreat. Well. All right, so with that. All right, take the Thea. Oh, you missed. Ah. Let us be cautious. No, I'll actually wait in the trees. As far for you, no, we'll, we'll, we'll heal you first. Don't fuck with the Sithy. Oh, I guess she has to use the training bow because we use the, um, her magic power too much. Alright, that's rough. fine. I think I could kill you with the this anyways. No, I can't. Alright, so... We'll kill you with the Iron Lance. My, my. Magnificent. We killed Dorothea. Lorenz is level I 2. Perfect. Um, I want to level Claude up. He's. I'm gonna be honest right now. Claude's gonna probably be our highest level character by the end of this game. All right, let's attack you. To the infirmary you go, that's right. I think I'm probably gonna be the MVP here because I do a lot more killing. So, you've made it past Manuela. Make your move, you haven't moved once! Who, me? Okay, I can I can just move as many times as I want right now. I'm actually doing pretty bad to be honest. I'm actually gonna heal you. Oh, and by the way, magic replenishes after each battle too, so don't worry about that. Let's make a wall. 
And I'm actually gonna end the turn right here so I can move him again. So we'll have Lorenz attack. And I think Lorenz is about to die over here. Yeah, he's dead. Impossible. But that's okay. Because we're gonna have Leave it to me. Oh, you can't use combo attack shit, that's right. Yeah, I won't just attack you with this. Uh, my. I put in some work. All right, that's Intermediate that. seal. We'll talk about those This later mock on. battle is the Golden Deer House. Great work, everyone. Even if it's just a mock battle, the taste of victory is sugary sweet. So we did pretty decent. I think I'm gonna be the um. Yeah, I had a figure. I figured. So that was our first mock battle, and it took the entire... Alright, I had to cut out there, but um, that was the first mock battle. It took a whole 30 minutes to explain it, but that's the 30 minute uh, mock battle. Great work, Teach. That was a brilliant win. <sighs> uh, playing ignorant as to the quality of your command and deflecting the praise to your students. You really are a model professor, Teach. To be honest, I had a bunch of other schemes planned as well, just in case the situation called for it. But I didn't have to resort to any of them. I suppose our opponents lucked out. Well met, Professor. The breadth of your skill was on full display today. I must admit that your tactics were masterful. I shudder to think what may have transpired had it been Claude leading us into battle. I noticed that too! We just did what you told us, and we won! I love it! As expected from a child of the former captain of the Knights. Thank you for today, Professor. I have much to consider. I never doubted that our Professor would be amazing. It was way too obvious. Don't you agree, Marianne? Uh, me? Oh, um... Captain Gerald taught his child well. It would have been more of a surprise had our Professor proved lacking. Don't you think it's a bit harsh to give Gerald all of the credit, Leonie? In any case, it's clear that we only won because of our new mentor's guidance. A mercenary's wisdom and techniques are forged in battle. Those are the sorts of things you can only learn through experience. Right, Teach? But more importantly, it's time to celebrate our victory. Teach here has yet to try my well-renowned home cooking. I really do hope you'll join us. After all, I swiped some finely aged cheese from the dining hall for just this occasion. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Gerald trained you well. Alright, so with that, I'm actually going to cut this here. So next time when we play this game, we're going to talk to Lady Rhea and see what she wants after the mock battle. So see you all then.